Hello everyone, Godot is an amazing game engine that allows you to build a game once and export it into different platforms. Today I'm gonna show you how you can correctly export your game in Android, whether it's a debug version or a release version. So let's get started. To export your game you need to go to project, then select export. There you will need to click on add and select Android here. If you see an error says that no export template found, then click on this manage export template. Then click on this download and install button. Once it is installed, again go to project and export. Now we have to set two things. First is SDK and second is key store file. The simplest way to get SDK is to download Android Studio. So in your browser, search for Android Studio. Now open the first link and there you will find the button to download Android Studio. Once it's downloaded, click on the setup file and install it. The installation process is really simple. You just click next, next, next and it's all done. Now once the installation is completed, run the application and also make sure the internet is still connected. Now once it's open, click on this arrow and select SDK Manager. There you will see which version of SDK is installed in your system. And if there is none, then you need to click on these checkboxes to download it. Now come to SDK Tool tab and also make sure the command line tools are also downloaded. If it is not installed, then simply click on the checkboxes and click on apply. It will be downloaded. Right above all of this, you can see the SDK location. Now let's open this location in the file explorer. This is your SDK and you need to copy this path. Now come back to Godot and now go to editor, then editor setting, then in the last you will see android. Here you need to paste the SDK path. Now the second thing we need is a key store file. For this, go to your C drive, then go inside the program files, there you will find android, then jre, and at last bin. Now you need to open search menu and type cmd and make sure to run it as an administrator. Now type cd then a space and now you enter this path. So copy the path and paste it here and hit enter. Now I have given this command in the description. You can copy that and paste it here. Now just hit enter and after few seconds the keystore file will be created. You will find your keystore file inside this folder and now you can place it wherever you like. For now I will put that in the C drive. Now come back to Godot and now you have to put the path of the keystore file. I have put it in the C drive so I will select C and there we have it. Now if you didn't change the command that I have given in the description then you should leave the debug username and password as it is. Now since we have provided everything you can now export your game. So go to project then export. Now scroll down a bit and you will see the package section. There you will need to write the package name of your app. This is how Android distinguishes between your app and other. The syntax for the package should be like com.yourcompanyname.yourappname. Below it, write the name of your app and leave everything else the same. Don't worry, I'll explain all the other options later. Now click on the export project and here select where you want to export your apk file. Then give the name of the apk file and put .apk at the last. After that click on save and in just a moment the apk file will be ready. As you can see your debug apk file has been created. Now let's see how we can create a release apk file. To make a release apk we need a release keystore file. Again we have to do the same thing open cmd as an administrator and navigate to the gre folder which we have already done. Now I have also given the command to create a release apk so copy it and paste it here. Now you need to change the command a little bit. So just after allies you need to put a name which will be the username for this key store. I will write test apk key store for the username and press enter. Now it will ask you for the password so just enter it. You will see nothing on the screen but just keep typing. Now it will ask you some question and you should answer it according to your own. For now I will just put something random. Once all the questions are done, your keystore file will be created. You will find your keystore file in the GRE folder as well. You can put it wherever you like but for now I will just put that in the C drive. Now go to Godot and while exporting the app, if you scroll down just a little, you will see the keystore section. You don't have to put anything in the debug one but you need to put a release keystore file path in the release box. Then we have to enter the username and password you created and you can now click on export project. Here you just need to make sure the export with debug is unchecked and hit export. And there we have it, a release apk. Now let's quickly go through all the available export options that you might need. You will use custom build when your app contains some external plugin. Like if you want to integrate add to a game, then you have to use a third party plugin. Then you will use this custom build option. 
After that you can select the export format. The APK is something that you can directly install on any device. But when you are going to upload it in the Google Play Store, you will need to select ABB file. Then we have the keystore section where we put the keystore file which is used to sign in our app. You don't have to put debug keystore username and password here because we have already put that in the settings. Now after that we have one click deploy. So when your app is already installed on your device and you are running the apk installation file again then it will first remove the previous installed app and then install the new one. Now below it you can set what version your app is like 1.7.5 or something like that. Then we have a package section where you will put your app's unique package name and your app name. Leave the other option as it is. Now the main thing after that is the icon. You will need three different images for your icon. One image for the background, one image for the foreground and one image with both foreground and background together. I will really recommend you to read this article to understand better about icons in Android. So to show you I have created these three images. One is background, the second one is foreground and the third combines both. Now while exporting the game, go to icon section and now in the main image I will put the image that contain both foreground and background. Similarly for the foreground I will put the foreground image and for the background I will put the background image. Now the next thing that you might use is a command line argument. If you don't know about command line argument then basically you can provide some input at the time of the starting of the app. After that the most important thing is the permission section. In android if you want to access something then you have to get the permission first. For example when you will add the admob plugin to show ads then you have to get the internet permission and what permission you need actually depends on your game. So these are all the options that you will use often. Now switch over the resource tab. If you don't want to include some scene then you can either delete them or you can select the scene here that you don't want to export. Below that you can specify some particular file type that you want to include or exclude from your app. Now in the features tab there's actually nothing special here. Now in the script tab you can set either you want to compile code or you can also encrypt it if you have an encryption key. So that's it for today. You will find all the related links in the description and I hope you find something new in this video. If you have any doubt ask me in the comment section and I'll try to solve it. If this video is helpful then do leave a like and also subscribe to my channel for more good related content. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.